Hi guys. Hey, I know we've had some delays. This week was no different. Um, and I know we're running a bit behind, but I just want to assure you that we are going to get this class up and rolling. Everybody's going to be on the same page. We'll get it all together. You're going to get your whole six weeks, 12 hours worth, okay? Um, and I just wanted to reassure you guys of that because I know there's been some health issues. There's been different delays. People couldn't make it. This one couldn't come. That one couldn't come. I couldn't come. You know, we're all kind of trying to get it together. And I know it's July 4th this next Monday, and I am not going to make us have a class on July 4th. Of course not. We're going to um, either skip that week or we can pick another day. Whatever works for you guys, I'm good with. I'm pretty flexible and pretty easy so uh, whatever works okay so think about it think about what you'd rather do um, I am going to be posting stuff periodically throughout this week so that it'll kind of help us at least stay on top of this not let it get out of our minds for the July 4th holiday and stuff don't worry if you're busy I get it I understand you're busy I'm not I'm not gonna you know um, you know, force anything on any of you. And I'm sorry, I'm not, my words are escaping me today. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's like I try a slave driver. That's what I was thinking of. I couldn't think of the word. So anyway, it's Tuesday. It's getting late. It's about 6.32. And I just was thinking about you guys. I wanted to reach out to you guys. One of the things we're going to cover in class, and I keep talking about energy and how we're reading energy and that sort of thing. So let's think about us as a whole right now, okay? So us as a whole right now living on this earth as we're living, there are four parts, four major parts to us, correct? Um, we have our physical bodies, which we need to take care of. We need to exercise. We need to eat right. We need to drink plenty of water. As you get older, you start to, you know, notice things are gravity's taking over. You know, you, you don't look the same as you used to. You know, we all going through that, except for maybe a few of us that haven't reached that yet. But, um, so, you know, we try very hard to take care of ourselves, and that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. We absolutely should take care of ourselves, right? Um, so we've got that. And then we have our mental health. Mental health is, um, mental and emotional are two different things. They kind of coexist together, but they are different. Now, our mental uh, the mental part that I'm speaking of is like the brain work, you know, like when you study, when you learn something, when you know something, um, the way the brain works, you know, the brain is like our power center, right? It's our whole control center. Um, so that's really important. You know, you got to take your probiotics, you got to take your fish oils, you got to really take care of yourself and keep that up and alert and that sort of thing and I was just um, I, in a class that I'm taking I was just learning the other day that um, higher elevations people that live in higher elevations they actually have less um, documented cases of Alzheimer's and dementia isn't that that's just an interesting little fact it's the less oxygen not only do they have less documented cases of that sort of thing but they also are happier people, less stressed, um, less worried. And you know, when I was learning that, I thought hmm, that that's really interesting. And although New Hampshire doesn't have, you know, worldwide, we don't have, you know, the highest elevation. Think about the people that live like in higher elevations. They are less stressed. You know, you go up to the White Mountains and people are genuinely, genuine generally um, more friendly, uh, happier, more laid back, not as fast paced, that sort of thing. And I know some of that has to do with country living, but it's just an interesting tidbit about the higher elevations. Um, I don't think it's just the lack of oxygen because I know like somebody having an asthma attack is not going to get nicer. They're going to get meaner because of the lack of oxygen to their brain. I think it has something to do with the pressure, um, the pressure and uh, you know, like when you're up in a plane and the pilots, they, they don't even realize how much danger there is because of the pressure. Um, so I think it, it's all, you know, that's all scientific. But anyway, I'm getting off course. I, I just thought it was an interesting fact. So we take care of our mental health. We want our brain to be in good shape. You know, we think about our older years, our golden years. We want to be in good shape, right? And then our emotional health. And a lot of people 
get emotional health and spiritual health mixed up, okay? They're similar in some ways. I mean, you know, if you're holding on to something that happened to you, say, as a child, or, and you don't remember it per se, but you're holding on to it, um, you can go and, you know, it can affect your spiritual health. It can affect your belief system. It can affect what you're willing to believe, how open you are, how close you are. So that's kind of how they're interconnected connected but let me tell you you know when you go to see a psychologist or um, when you get hypnotized or a psychiatrist or medications they may help you get to a better place emotionally but they are not going to help you in a spiritual state and I think many of us have been and many of the world it's been confused. If there's something spiritually going on, the world tends to believe that it's an emotional thing. But, you know, you could go through all of these things that maybe you're hanging on to even subconsciously, work through it, go through hypnosis, go through counseling, you know, do all kinds of therapeutic uh, different techniques or, or emotional techniques, and you could really release it, and that's a great thing. But then still you find yourself blocked and, um, and not as open spiritually and you think okay but I let all this stuff go well then there's our spiritual bodies okay and I think many of us or the world is so focused on the other three they tend to forget about the spiritual body that we need to take care of I'm not talking about a religious ritual or going to church every Sunday please don't misunderstand me because that's all well and good for some folks and I'm not downing that at all if that's where you feel peace that's awesome but there is a spiritual body that needs to be taken care of just like our physical body just like our mental health our brain and just like our emotional health okay and what happens okay so we have our aura, which is very close around us. It's probably like this, right? And it goes around a person. And sometimes, you know, when it's a really highly evolved person or um, maybe they're just really emotional, sometimes you'll see the aura kind of flare out a little bit, okay? But for the most part, the aura is kind of right here, and it goes all the way along the body. And that's just kind of our energy that, that shoots off us, right? You know, some people, they don't want you to get into their their zone or their you know it's like no my space don't come don't cross it unless I ask you to that and even sometimes if you ask to it's still uncomfortable um, that's our aura okay so if you get close to someone and you feel heat or you feel cold or you whatever you feel uh, sometimes you can feel it a little um, shaky or something especially if you're doing energy work on them you can feel like holes in it and that sort of thing that's somebody's aura but then there is another energy field that's bigger than that and that again when we're reading someone so we go from the aura to the outer I'll call it the outer aura I don't think that's like a technical term but I'll call it that just just for the sake of this video so you've got the outer aura and then when you're reading someone, you're reading, so you go from the aura to the outer aura, and then you go beyond, and you're reading their spiritual path, if you will, if things stay the same. And sometimes you'll see, like, a crossroads, like, okay, you can make this decision, and this will happen, you know, and, and that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm getting a little off track. But that's what we're reading when we're reading. When somebody's coming through, we're sensing the energy of that person coming through. Because although they no longer have their body, nor do they have their minds, and nor do the, the emotions and the emotional state no longer matters, but our soul our soul goes along with us. Our soul is who we are. Now, a lot of our minds, and I'm not talking about the brain, I'm talking about the mind, connects with the soul. We're all interconnected. What we're going to lose when we go is our body, okay? And our emotions will no longer be the same. You never hear of, um, you know, somebody who is 
you know, in heaven that's talking about uh, bad emotions, you know what I mean, so, or holding on to stuff or anything, but that's getting a little off track too, we're going to cover a class on that stuff as well, but, so the outer aura is what I want to talk about today, so have you ever met somebody or even walked by somebody even if you don't see them, if you don't hear them, if you never have a conversation with them, or if you do and they seem to be one of the nicest people that you've ever met and they're doing this and that and they're just genuinely nice people, but you have like this real negative vibe or you feel anxious around them or um, an uneasiness or something like that, what you're feeling is their outer aura. Um, now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad person. Sometimes it can. Sometimes it's a warning and it's like, hey, whoa, stay away from this person. No matter how nice they seem, it's your alert system. You know, it's like beep, 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 danger, danger, danger. Um, listen to that. Please listen to that. Other times, and you'll learn as you grow to distinguish between danger, 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 or this person has a whole lot of stuff, okay? And some of their stuff may be what's alerting the danger um, code, I guess. So say I'm just going to use uh, a rape victim, for instance, but it could be anything. We pick up and hold on to everything from the time of conception all the way through our lives, okay? And so something, you know, mom and dad could have been fighting while you're in utero, all right? Or mom may have gotten hurt while you're in utero. Mom may have gotten really sick. Maybe mom was depressed and didn't really want to have a child. You know, all of those things we pick up on, okay? Um, maybe she's extremely happy and feels blessed to have you. You're going to pick up on that, even though you may not ever remember that. I mean, who remembers that? I know some people do, but... Um, it's very rare. Or, you know, maybe something happens when you're just an infant or a toddler and you don't remember, but you still get the feelings associated with it. So a lot of times what happens, say like a rape victim, okay, so the rape hurts her physical body. It also hurts her mental health, right, because it messes with her brain. Or she may just shut down completely her mental health in order to protect. Um, and go somewhere else. Emotionally, it's going to affect her. It's going to hurt her. Now, those three things, the body's going to heal. The body is probably, even if you have scars that last a lifetime, the body is probably most likely the first thing to heal. Okay? Like I said, even if you have scars. I know that I was brutally raped, and I have, I have scars pretty deep scars and um, they've affected me all my life because I've never known what sex is supposed to feel like and maybe that's too much information but I'm just trying to explain something so, but my body healed it's healed okay but it, it carries with it these scars I have scars on my arm you've all seen those scars I have a scar on my head um, so the body holds on to these scars, but it doesn't mean it's not healed. You know, my arms are healed. My head is healed. Um, from the rape, I'm healed. It's just scars, okay? Then um, the mental, the mental, the brain may play tricks on you, but it heals, okay? It, it's a little harder to heal that than it is the body, body's like probably the easiest emotionally and mentally I mean we can go through different therapies um, there's some pretty awesome therapies out there now that really get right to the root of the problem and remove it um, all different kinds I'm not advocating for one or another I'm just trying to make a point um, we can go through hypnosis we can do all sorts of things to bring recall and let go okay um, and so eventually it is absolutely possible to heal with the scars, right? And then, um, then we have our spiritual bodies, okay? People tend to forget about the spiritual body. They think, okay, well, my body, my physical body is healed. My mental, emotional body is healed. I'm in forgiveness. I'm looking, I'm living in gratitude. I can totally, you know, maybe not understand what happened to me, but I've, 
gone past it. I'm no longer a victim. I am a survivor. I can help other people. But then I don't trust God or I won't open up. There's a fear inside of me every time, you know, I get, I feel that person's aura. I get this instant uneasiness or, um, you know, whatever. And you're like, well, it can't, I can talk about the rape, no problem. I'm detached from the emotions. I'm okay. But your spiritual body, just like your physical body, is holding those scars. You know, it's got the scars. Um, your emotional body holds those scars. Um, and it, it helps to build who you are, who your personality is you know, who you're going to be, whatever. It, it kind of builds us, right? Our spiritual bodies hold on to things too. It can heal. It can absolutely heal in a matter of moments, actually. But there, there are scars there too. Now, what happens in the physical body when scar tissue tends to get in the way of healthy tissue. Sometimes it causes these blocks and the surgeon has to actually go in and remove that scar tissue because it's dead tissue. We no longer can use it. We don't need it. It's just a scar. And I mean, scars, if they're not in the way of anything, they're okay. They're not hurting anything. But if they get in the way, the surgeon's going to go in and remove them. Well, we need, God is like a um, spiritual surgeon, right? But we have to activate that process. And you may never know what those scars are. I like to call them cosmic junk, okay? So sometimes you don't even, you haven't even gotten to the part of a scar yet. You still have those open wounds in your energy field, not your aura, but in your extended aura, you still have these open wounds. You still have these memories. You still have these events. You still have these cords. When we connect with a person, good or bad, there are like cords that go out and there's like a hook on the end and it hooks to both people, uh, good or bad. And, you know, so sometimes you feel super connected to somebody. If somebody hurts you very much, there's a cord, whether you want one or not. Um, you know, the, the rapist would have left a cord. You would have left a cord. Everybody you ever have intimate relationships, there's a cord. You could get in a fight with somebody or, you know, there's a high emotional whatever, there's a cord. So these things are hanging on in there, okay? If they're unhealed, they're like open wounds. Even if they're spiritually healed, if you've raised your vibration, if you're close to God and you've healed these things, sometimes they're healed, but they're not cleansed out of your system, okay? They're still, you've got the scars there. So the scars are kind of blocking up your aura field, all right? Um, another thing that happens, we have the cords, um, but um, another thing that happens, and this is not, well, I'm not going to say it's uncommon, but I wouldn't say it's as common as the cords because we can get cords, you know, at the grocery store. If somebody's like really nasty and you get, you cop an attitude too, it's a cord exchange, you know. Um, not always, but a lot of times there is, you know. And that will cause even higher emotion. You're like, why am I so worked up over this? Well, there's a cord. Um, there are... There are exercises that we can do or you can come see someone like me and they can help you remove those cords, like get the hooks, you know, because it's like a hook um, that hooks into you. It can't just be pulled or cut because then the hook's still in. It has to be kind of taken out. Sometimes it even physically hurts depending on how deep they are. Um, but then also in a, a less rare case, but it's not, I mean a less common case, but it's not, I wouldn't call it rare. There are entities, parasitic entities, that kind of connect to the energy fields of people around them. Sometimes um, that rapist, I'll just, I'm going back to that scenario, may have, you know, 700 little entities, negative 
even sometimes demonic entities, okay? Some of those little guys can jump from his field to yours. Sometimes you could just be with a friend and this parasitic entity needs somebody of a different energy level so they hop and they get onto you you may never know that but now all of a sudden you start feeling tired you start feeling closed you start having fears that are um irrational um you're closed to any kind of spirituality and you're thinking why what happened i was so open everything was good or things start getting really crazy and and you know this thing that's attached to you is opening things more and you're going all your friends are going you're nuts and you're thinking am i you know that that could be actual um parasites parasitic entities in your extended aura okay so we're all walking around with something in our extended aura okay we're gonna have something because we've been here a long time I mean even like I said if you can pick up stuff in utero you might have mom stuff you might be 50 years old and you still have mom stuff you know hanging out in your um, extended aura so what we need to do is we need to cleanse those just like we need to take care of the physical body make sure it heals and then if the scars block things we need to have them surgically removed. Just like through the mind and the emotional part, we need to bring them to the surface and get rid of them. We can't let them block things. Sometimes people that are blocked emotionally or mentally will not go for a relationship because the fear of being hurt. So they're blocked, they're clogged. They're not going to open up to a relationship. Spiritually, you're not going to open up to anything. It's going to block you may think you're open, you're positive, you're grateful, you live in forgiveness, blah, 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 and maybe you do. But yet, you get just so far in career, in love, in finding the right person, in um, money issues, um, whatever the case may be. Um, you, you start to succeed, you start feeling good, this and that, and then all of a sudden, bam, you're down. Or something happens and blocks it. Um, you know, because these... I'm getting way out of what I want to talk about, but there are entities outside of us, too, that are messing with these things, too, okay? But I'm just talking about our energy field. If your energy field is clear, too, you're going to be able to pick up the vibrations of these other things around and not allow them to block things either. So if it's all clogged up, you're not hearing, you're spiritually hearing, you're not spiritually seeing, you're not spiritually knowing everything you should be because there's a blockage. Am I making any sense? I certainly hope I am because it's really hard to do these videos because... I, if I'm talking to you, I get your feedback, I get your questions. With this, I'm just kind of rambling. So I hope I'm making sense. So this needs to be cleared, okay? And we are going to go through a few exercises in class to show us how to clear these things. But I'm only going to touch like the tip of the iceberg because what I've done, and I know if you've seen my Facebook, if you've talked to me recently, you've heard this before, and you're probably like, oh, Lori, shut up. But i got to tell you, I am more than excited about this. I know this is of God because it came to me one day. It just came to me. It was, I mean, I wasn't even thinking anything like this. It was, I would never expect myself to do something like this. But what I heard is you got to put together your knowledge, your wisdom, what I'm telling you, um, your experience. Put these things together and create this program. Free my people is what I heard. Help to free my people. We're in a time right now where there is a whole lot of energetic stuff going on. Are we at the end? I don't know. But we're doing, something's going on. Something is going on. Some people say we're right raising our vibration to a crystallized level. No, we're not. No, we're not. People are going backwards. People are going they're primitive they're brutal in some cases you know and then there's others of us who are still trying to steadily rise and we're being slammed down it's like what's good is bad what's bad is good I mean it's an upside down world right so what I'm hearing what I heard before I did this and I was absolutely guided to do it I gotta tell you I was because I put hours and hours and hours of work into this and um, I really put heart, soul into this, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. I, for you, I want to see some changes in you. We are at a 
crucial time right now. We've got to be at the top of our game spiritually. We've got to be at the top of our game physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Especially spiritually. Because what remains after everything else is gone is your spirit. We're talking about eternity here. I want all of us to be so cleansed in our extended aura in our aura and our extended aura and our extended energy field that we are at such a high vibration that this negative stuff that's going on we're going to find ourselves above it and we can be the ones to help people okay that's my main focus is helping people do i have to get paid well of course i have to get paid i'm going to be if okay so what i'm introducing to you is the 90 day program 90 days to manifesting the life you desire actually what it is is not really manifesting what it is is you cleanse your energy field and when it's cleansed what happens is effortless effort effortlessly you learn how to talk um things begin to vibrate to you you're able to you know um marriages get better uh relationships get better if you are alone and you choose to have someone in your life they flow to you money flows to you career flows to you it's a different mindset where it's not such a struggle you're not struggling you're not constantly busting butt to make ends meet and then finding that they don't um you're not getting just so far in your career to find that somebody else got the job you're not like everything's going well and then boom there's a block right in front of you those things are you know it's still we've still got the negatives it's going to try to beat us down but your sense of awareness will be heightened so i designed this program i compiled all my knowledge my uh, the wisdom from above because i know this is god led um god inspired he did this he did this I, i'm telling you it just came to me it was him for sure um and so I took all my my experience, my years of dealing with clients and what happened with them, my um, all my certifications and the knowledge that I learned there, the years of study, the years of research. I've been doing this for over 25 years, just talking with different people. So I put together all these different things and um, I came up with a program that's 90 days. So real quickly, it would be 90 days in the privacy and comfort of your own home. You would be receiving something from me each day, something that you can save, you can download. It's yours. It's yours. You can use it if you never want to touch it in the first 90 days. Don't start it. Start after the 90 days is over. It doesn't matter to me as long as you do it because I really want you to feel better. I want you to be at the top of your game. Now, along with that comes your coach, me. Um, once a week, you would have a meeting, um, you know, via Skype or telephone or in person or whatever works for you. I know there are people out of state that want to do this and they obviously can't meet me in person but we could do Skype we could do telephone we could do email whatever works for you but we would have one session per week together to work through these kinds of things um, plus your coach me would be available to you 24 7 to answer questions to help you through maybe one of the um, exercises you know touch something in you you don't know what to do I'm there I'm there I'm there you're not gonna get that most cases with a coach you know you hire a coach on for a contract they're not available to you 24 7 i mean i couldn't be i would you know i'd be all over the map but with this program that's what i was called to do be there for each person and i'm not talking about you know connecting or anything like that i'm talking about as far as in relation to the program plus one week uh, one meeting per week the rest of it is done uh, groups there's some group stuff participate if you want don't if you don't want to there's no pressure but if you want to get the best out of it you would participate in everything that you can I'm telling you guys this program is amazing I want you to sign up for it you don't have to it's not a class requirement it's as inexpensive as I could make it I didn't do this for the money I did it to help you guys to help me to help all of us get to be where we need to be i'm going to be doing the program with you as we're doing it i'm going to be launching it this friday um if you would like to do it i would love for you to do it i could in it's 350 but i'm going to give everybody in the class a 10 percent discount and um i'm going to give you the option to make any kind of payments you can as long as it's paid um by the end of the 30 days um 
and that means you know whatever you can just tell me you're on the list I'll invoice you with that ability to pay you know whatever you can there's no set payments or whatever and I'll have you on the list and you'll be right there with everybody else this isn't about money for me this is about you getting better me getting better as a and hopefully you know then you tell two friends and then they tell two friends and we all raise our um, and our energy field our vibration we all raise it up anyway I didn't mean to get all boggled down I realize I'm at 30 minutes I don't want to take up too much of your time I am going to be posting some exercises I'm going to be posting um, some different things that you can do I know we're not meeting July 4th um, we'll figure it out okay just let me know what works for you and we'll all kind of get together and figure it out I also want to let you guys know that I am planning somewhat of a field trip and that'll be for both classes combined and we'll pick a day that works for everybody and we'll take off and we'll go somewhere really spiritual and maybe try to sense what we get what you feel we'll record this stuff it'll be a whole lot of fun we'll do lunch you know bring bring a bag lunch uh, who knows maybe we'll spend the night if if possible um, whatever I'm just throwing it out there I have a couple ideas um, I'd love to do it as a group just kind of as a learning learning thing anyway I I really hope I get to see you guys next week at some point if not the Monday following and you'll see me you'll see me you'll see me through video or through messages and you'll probably be like oh Lori please anyway happy July 4th please 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 be careful out there okay all right take care guys and I will talk to you real soon